you struggling to see where disease is in your crop? Don't know how to evaluate level of disease before it's too late? Are you losing yield across your fields because of your indecision to spray? Quantum Genetics is here to help. With QProtect, we are equipping you with an easy to use tool that helps evaluate your level of disease risk for sclerotinia, fusarium and white mold. It is common for many producers and advisors across Canada to be traditional in their approach to fungicide applications. Comments of, I've always sprayed, or we don't have a disease issue here, in the past may have worked. But as yields, volatility of price and the cost of production continue to rise, the need to be more efficient and sustainable in every growing decision is crucial. So why should spraying for sclerotinia be any different? Because we can test for sclerotinia. With over 20 million acres of canola being grown in Canada annually, the abundance of host crops are widespread across the prairies. All with different environmental conditions and field histories. With QProtect, we give you a tool to be able to fill in the blanks of the disease triangle. Sclerotinia. Causes sclerotinia stem rot and white mold, affecting canola and soybeans. Apothecia, which grow in the soil, are responsible for producing spores when there is enough moisture and humidity. They release and eject these spores into the air, which land on the petals and stems of the canola plant. From there, the spores begin to use the plant as a food source which results in yield loss of your canola or soybean plant. The host component of our triangle as we know is abundant, but can only become infected if a disease pathogen is present. The environment is dictated by weather, rain events, moisture, heat units and humidity. The pathogen, the one unknown element that we can't visually see until it is already doing damage, is our pathogen. This is the value of QProtect to be able to determine the amount of pathogen that is present, allowing you to increase your accuracy in predicting disease risk and impact. Since 2016, the impact and prevalence that sclerotinia has had on Canada's canola yield has been significant. According to research conducted by the Canola Council of Canada in 2016, sclerotinia stem rot was widespread in canola across much of Western Canada, with over 90% of fields surveyed showing symptoms of infection. In the prairie provinces, the average percentage of plants infected of fields surveyed was between 14-30%, to 30%, which resulted in approximately 15% yield loss. Fast forward to 2019 and the disease prevalence is still making an impact, with 25-79% to 79 of plants infected with a lower incidence of 5-12% to 12 impact. Being able to better monitor and predict this disease can have a large impact on your canola and soybean yields. Knowing the cost of your decision is crucial. Spores can be variable from year to year, region to region, and even field to field, making it hard to make a decision on whether to spray or not to spray. Since the first season QProtect launched in 2016, we have tracked the results and disease prevalence over Western Canada, showing the high variability of results in the same regions. If you could take the guesswork out of your decision each year, would you? Here's how. Your QProtect kit comes equipped with everything you will need to sample your crop. Each kit contains 40 tubes to place your samples in, a set of tweezers for collection and a submission form to fill out your information. One kit can test up to 320 acres. Identify the field you wish to sample and identify five sites in the crop, taking petals from eight different plants. Collection is important to ensure you are receiving an accurate representation of your field. 
Here's Heather to show you how to collect your petals. Hi, I'm Heather with Quantum Genetics and I'm here to show you how to collect petals for the Q-Protect Sclerotinia test. When we're collecting our petals, we want to take a sample from the top of the plant, the middle and the bottom, and then we'll repeat this eight times at the five different sites within the field. Once you have your sample collection complete, you package everything back up and you can either curry it or drop it off at the lab. And with tw within 24 hours, we'll send you out a result sheet showing you what level of spore infection you have in your field. Thanks, Heather. Once your kit is processed, results are sent out in PDF format and also through our Quantum Genetics app. Our app launched in 2019, enabling farmers and agronomists to make decisions on the go about the cost of their spraying. Quantum Genetics created a risk barometer to visually present farmers with a correlation between their percent of infested plants and the risk of developing disease, with increased yield loss. The green low risk zone correlates with 0 to 20% positive results, which indicates a low risk of disease and yield loss, compared to results with a 40 to 100% positive infection, indicating that sclerotinia will have a large negative impact on the crop yield. To deliver results quicker and easier, Quantum developed their app that included a cost analysis application that utilises this risk barometer method to allow farmers to be able to access test results and make decisions on the go. Being able to enter live data on estimated yields, cost of spraying and prevalence of disease, farmers get an in-depth picture of their situation. Through linking to their agronomist and having multiple fields displayed within the application, farmers and agronomists can make these snap decisions which can have a larger impact later in the growing season. Now let's take a look at how to use these results. Once you've been notified that your results are ready, download the Quantum Genetics app and log in with the same email and password you identified on your submission form. The first screen, you will be asked to enter your selling price, cost of spraying and the estimated yield for this season. Today, we're going to estimate a selling price of $10.50 per bushel, a spray cost of $20 per acre, and an estimated yield of 40 bushels per acre. Next, move back to the top of the page and select the field to run a more detailed economic analysis. Here, we have three example fields. If we select sample field one, it will highlight, then move down to the Get Results button. You can see clearly here that with 5% overall percent positive in this field, that the cost of spraying would be higher than the potential yield loss. Also note that for each site tested, results are also returned, of which in this field, only site two and site three had a spore presence. If we go back and run the app for sample field three, we can see the impact that an increase in spore presence has. The potential yield loss in this example is $18.48 per acre, compared to a spray cost of $20 per acre. You are at a more medium risk, in this case, maybe sample again in a few days or consult your agronomist for a spray recommendation. When we run the app again for sample field 2, you can see the spray cost is lower than the potential yield loss of $33.60 per acre. In this case, the disease risk is great enough to spray. Interesting to note that sites 3, 4 and 5 showed the highest percent positive. This enables you to identify the three sample locations. They may be in a lower lying area and wetter part of the field, and you could choose to spray these areas for sclerotinia, allowing you to save cost of spraying for sites 1 and 2 and also reduce the amount of fungicide applied. Since its inception, the way in which farmers are using Q-Protect has evolved. Originally, the kit was used for a spray or no spray decision, based on the level of disease, and has now evolved to become an evaluation tool for farmers and agronomists. Timing is vital in ensuring that spray applications have the most effective results. Through using Q-Protect results, farmers can test to see whether they are at risk of yield loss before applying. The difference between spraying at 25% versus 60% risk 
could mean a better kill of spores and reduce the need to make another pass in 10 days when infection has reoccurred. Being informed on what is occurring in crop also gives farmers and agronomists decision confidence. 2020 saw a wetter and more variable year than typical for Western Canada. For those not able to book in plain fungicide applications or get onto their fields, QProtect allowed them to monitor their disease presence across their farm, knowing which areas to prioritise and know if they are at risk of yield loss. This variable rate application has also become an effective way of using the QProtect results. As five sites are tested within the kit, it allows farmers to treat areas in their fields separately. In sites where they have an increase of 20% plant positive results compared to those with zero risk, they can use field knowledge and history as well as science to be able to better manage and break the disease cycle. We've also seen agronomists go in post-spray to a field in wetter years and ensure that their fungicide applications have been effective. In this way, the results will indicate whether they have reinfection and need another pass or if results come back negative, they can rely on their yields being intact. We continue to have innovative people in industry that are using the science behind the QProtect kits to better arm themselves and their crops against sclerotinia. With increased pressure to continue producing higher yields whilst being sustainable and working towards environmental goals, the need to have tests like QProtect to identify disease and risk are growing. At Quantum Genetics, we also offer a test of Fusarium, Aphinomyces, Club Root, and many more to enable you to make better decisions before planting and spraying each year. 2020 saw another large incidence for Fusarium across the prairies, infecting many regions who had not previously been impacted. Fusarium is also a part of our QProtect package, with the same sampling procedure and turnaround time for results. With the rate at which Fusarium can spread and infect wheat, it is important to be able to return results quickly. This season, we saw farmers in southern Saskatchewan able to prevent considerable yield loss by testing with QProtect. Knowing that they had a high level of risk in crop before they saw signs of Fusarium head blight allowed them to be more proactive in combating the disease. QProtect is a tool for the farming community to help increase timing and decision confidence based on knowledge of spore presence, we aim to take the guesswork out of spraying and provide you with the power to better manage your disease level. This kit is a tool for everyone. It provides the farmer with knowledge and also arms the agronomist with results on their area and support spray recommendations. Simply take your sample and know you can make the right decision. We challenge you to do better than you've done before. QProtect saw its first season in 2016 and is continuing to grow in popularity with both producers and agronomists. Our kits are now available in over five of the largest retailers in Canada and are being used throughout Western Canada with a number of new and returning customers each year. Quantum Genetics has been in business for over 17 years started by a farmer looking to bring science and technology to his own operation. We are by farmers for farmers and proud to aid both the livestock and the cropping sector. We strive to be on the forefront of research and innovation in the agricultural industry and always aim to provide genomics simplified. Engage with us in the question and answer section below. Heather and I are both available to answer any questions during the conference. If you would like to know more about pricing or availability of kits, please feel free to do so. Visit our website at www.quantumgenetics.com or follow us on social media, which includes Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn.